So, Danny, second season in the esports. Last season you were with Mercedes and you move over to Alfa Romeo Racing now. What made you make that decision? So, uh, the cars are recall in the Formula 1 game for the esports series, but I think the team's uh, offer in terms of strategy and branding and uh, everything, uh, long-term plans, it made me to make this decision, which may look weird, but I'm up for the challenge. And a question that I'll be asking most of the drivers is, obviously you've got the drivers and you know who they are, but you've still got one pick. Are you excited to find out who it is? Yeah, I'm really excited because every member of the team is extremely important. We work together as a team, searching for setups, practicing on different tracks and gathering the data. More drivers means more working time, so I'm excited to see who I work with. So we've had to extend the height of the camera just to fit you in. Um, so how on earth do you fit in the seat for eSports? So luckily the play seats are in a good size. I'm not sure if I could sit in a Formula 1 car or maybe even an F2 car or any Formula car. But uh, yeah, the eSports is a, it's an amazing opportunity for me too. Everyone can literally start to a career in eSports with the same equipment and same uh, chances with eco cars, which really shows the talent. So you're currently racing in the eSports, do you hope to progress on and actually race in proper motorsport? Yeah, yeah, of course, every motorsport opportunities I would want to grab. Uh, maybe, as I told, Formula 1 cars are not my suit, but maybe one day I will try to race in GT cars. Well, thanks for your time, Danny. Yeah, thank you very much. And I think we got an obvious question, who's the tallest? Oh, oh well, yeah, that fellow over there, Danny, absolute inhuman.